everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to my channel. This is pre-Burning Man of last year, 2022, as I have not gone in 2023 and I had a big year for performing for Burning Man last year with my conclave Essence in LA. For three to five months, we have rehearsed and choreographed different things in the theme of a waking dream. In our conclave, we had four to five different types of dreams. I was part of the drag dream, and it was quite an honor to be able to perform while the man burned. So because we were part of this conclave, we also had to fund some of our exploits, which included a fundraiser. Mary's Gallery was very generous and allowed us to use their space as a form of a party, and that way, we can showcase our skills while inviting people in the burning community to come and support us. All the tickets helped go to building the camp. We were placed at a really good spot last year and because both of our shins, which are our fire parents essentially of this group, our friends with the Fire Council of Burning Man, we were able to get guidance for the first time that this conclave was formed. If you're unfamiliar, Burning Man is an organized project, nonprofit on community, art, self-expression, and self-reliance. It's held annually in Nevada in the Black Rock Desert, which is a dry lake bed. A few misconceptions that people have about Burning Man is that it's about bartering and a lot of people go there just to do some shenanigans. Although those things can happen, it's not really about bartering, it's about gifting. I'll go through the 10 principles in my next video where we actually go to Burning Man, but for now, just know that it's a giant playground where you are pushed to be the best human being that you can be potentially. My partner got to DJ for the opening of the party, and it was just really fun seeing friends flow as well as sell really awesome homemade goods, etc. This is where I want to buy my outfit. Just kidding. <laughs> These are a couple of the events that we went to and shopped for before heading out to the desert. Part of the fun of Burning Man is going shopping for your outfits. A lot of crazy colors, patterns, and everything that isn't normal is accepted here. So that's like 25 bucks. Well, let's double check. But we did get it on that rack. Look at all this. He called it the drip. And this is mine. He called it the drip. Lentil sprout pattern play. How do you feel about them patterns, bro? Oh, it's be sprouting, bro. It's <laughs> sprouting all of them, bitch. We actually didn't intend to shop at a Macy's, and this is not sponsored by them in any way, but my partner found so many cool patterns that he just had to purchase some of them. I like to go to a couple of thrift stores in order to find what I'm looking for that inspires the Waking Dreams theme or just me in general. I went to go buy a ball gown for another event, and I actually found one at the second thrift store that I went to. Anything that you do bring to Burning Man does not come back the same, however, so be aware that any new stuff will get a little worn and possibly torn out there. It is a wild environment, so that's why I like to shop at thrift stores because at least I won't feel bad about spending a lot of money on something that looks really great. Thrift stores also have really awesome coats that you can get for a very low price. That'll keep you warm out in the cold. Gorgeous. You're in the pattern district or some shit. Wow. Gorgeous. Like. Yeah. After some shopping, we did stop by a new place called Great White. It was so yummy. Here are some of the things that we tried. We had some taro chips with poke, as well as salmon and cocktails to pair with it. Yeah, it's 
tentacles. And by the time that we finished, it was already dark outside, but we ended with a banana toffee and some ice cream. It was around my birthday last year that we were starting to prep our things. And so I went to Nisei Week, the closing weekend. Nisei Week is the Japanese that were born in America and that have immigrated here. And every year they celebrate different types of obans, which are festivals that happen throughout all of the cities that have temples. And so uh, I decided to go with my friends and meet them there. But first, some milk tea because it's really hot outside despite what I'm wearing. And after that, it was time to turn the corner and head to the closed street to start viewing the celebrations. Saw some mascots, which I was creeping on. So, can you guys hold some guys? Uh, here is what we do. Uh, is led by Shihan Imoke Shinji, who teaches Minyo Odori in the. You recognize Alien, don't you? He is the person that we went to go celebrate his birthday in Japan later on. Full circle for those of you who have already watched my Japan playlist. It was really cool because on the 4th of July, prior to this Nisei week, we actually learned all of the dances at one of the school's houses. And we joined their group in the second half of the festival to do the dances with everyone. And it was really fun. I highly recommend that you at least witness, if not join, one of these if you can in the future, if your city has these festivals. The live music by Ishihara Minyo Kenshusho from Southern California. First, we made sure to take some group photos. This gentleman with the white hair and glasses is actually the drummer for Jeff Goldblum's band, who he attended his birthday party earlier that year. After that, we were pretty beat, and so we went to a restaurant local to Little Tokyo and had some fish. There were five of us, and so we were able to split a lot of small dishes, which really tided us over for the evening. Well, that's all we have for this video. If you like it, give it a subscribe. Turn on notifications by clicking that bell so that you know when I have new content out. I usually post every Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And until next time, keep curious, everyone. Jack out.